Hi, my name's Sarah Terry, and here I am again giving you some more mental health hints, tips, and advice. So today I want to talk about intuition. Now that means a lot of different things to different people, so let's see what it means to you. Now, don't forget if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe press the button and also press the button to get the alerts so that you get my videos as and when they're released. Okay, so intuition, what is it? Gut feeling, yeah? Inkling, something's not right. I should have done that. Deja vu, yeah, it's all of those things. And intuition is something that, when we talk about personality types, it's one of the splits of the personality types because we, we tend to have um, people who are intuitive and people that are sensors, sensors. And what that means is intuitive people tend to be more, I would say, in touch with their intuition or they, they, they go to it much more easily, which is they think what could have been, they think about the bigger picture, they think about lots of possible solutions. Whereas sensors, on the other hand, are like, what's the evidence? What we're gonna do about it? Let's get the job done. So sensors are much more about the here and now and boom, 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 let's get this done. So again, as I talk about that, you're gonna resonate with one or the other, okay? But today I wanna to talk about intuition because we all have intuition, whether we're an intuitive or a sensor personality type, we do all have intuition. And our intuition is that little voice inside us which tells us, it's usually trying to tell us when something's not right because when things are going really well, you're probably not getting any vibes from your mind or your body, you know, you think you're just going along with your life and you're really happy. Intuition tends to occur when there's just something not sitting right. So think about um, your job, for example. You know, do you get funny feelings? Do you get thoughts about, you know, what you could be doing, what you should be doing? And I don't just mean like changing your job. I mean about your working environment, you know, um, are you you're giving the best version of yourself and all those sorts of things. But the biggest thing, the biggest time when we observe our intuition is in relationships. So going back to people that are in a coercive controlling relationship or something like that, if they're really honest with themselves, they're gonna say that they knew or they felt that something wasn't right. And a lot of people will say that after an event. So it's really important to get in touch with your intuition really, because what you can do is if you, if you get in touch with it a little bit more and you listen to it, you might find that you make some better decisions and you end up more happy in life. So the key is, if something doesn't feel right, then it probably isn't. So take some time to think about that. Think about um, a situation in your life that just doesn't feel right. It might be a relationship, it might be work, it might be your home life, it might be uh, your family. You know, I mean, obviously in this time of lockdown, there's lots of things that don't feel right and lots of situations that we're forced into. But intuition's more than that. It's about how we, as people, manage it now you know have you been coasting along in your life have you been putting up with things that you really don't want to put up with you know and it do you feel angry about it do you find that you are sick a lot do you find that you have to have a lot of time off work and those sorts of things all these things are because what happens with intuition is it starts in here okay but it's also linked to the part of the brain which in our more primitive times made us react so it's linked to feelings like anxiety fear excitement and so it's those real physical reactions and emotions that intuition sparks so it's a real coming together i suppose of our mind and our bodies so really listen out for it where do you feel it do you feel a cramp in your stomach do you feel a tightness in your chest do you just feel a genuine unease listen to it, what is it telling you, when do you get it, and what can you do about it, do you need to change that situation, you know, or just give it some thought, okay, so if something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't, listen to your gut, try and track down what it is, and try and do something about it.
If you thought any of that made sense, then you might want to check out my online courses and some of my written stuff too. I hope to see you over there. Oh, and please, please subscribe to my channel. Also, you might want to check out these really cool designs. Yes, breaking fashion rules.